As an urgent question, I rise to ask the Chancellor of the Exchequer to now make a statement on the Bilderberg Conference which he attended. If I don't have any rights, he doesn't have any rights. He doesn't have any rights and you don't have any rights. I think I, think I know what you're saying. Yeah, in other words, if everybody gets equal rights, you got equal rights to the rights I got. And that's to sit down and keep your mouth shut or get your jaw broke. Is that the rights you want? Hello everybody, this is Jay Blackfoot with RedDawnPost.com. I have a few things for you today um, that I have found scaring the web for uh, news that the mainstream media really isn't covering. Uh, the Bilderberg meeting is over. Um, it didn't actually got mentioned in Parliament. I didn't pull that up, but uh, maybe I'll do that in another video. I'll share that with you. It's over at um somewhere on infowars.com. You can find it. Do a Google search. Um, they really just sugarcoated it. It was a song and dance, a tap dance. Uh, there was one major question brought up. Parliament is a place in, I believe it's Britain. Um, it's their kind of like government system set up uh, over there. And it, the Bilderberg meeting was brought up there, but anyway. In other news, Egyptian politicians plan false flag on live TV. This is pretty interesting. Um, I'll leave a link to this. Really, which I don't even know if I will, because it's really nothing. This is uh, the video where you kind of hear them talking back and forth about things they can do, plotting and scheming to get this dam built. I guess Ethiopia wants to build a dam. Egypt doesn't want them to build a dam. Egypt's talking about um, funding their and arming their uh, opposition rebel forces, just like they do in, the United States does in Syria and this and that. And they're playing. They're blaming the U.S. and others for wanting to build this dam in Ethiopia, and, and Egypt's claiming it's a threat to their uh, water security. Yet, when it comes to the security of Gazans, it's a different story. I think Egypt kind of helps them out in Gaza, Gaza. I'm not sure, but um, same thing that happened in Egypt. They should know f full and well how that works. Uh, you know. Rebel forces funded Al Qaeda. They usually use Al Qaeda, which is supposedly our enemy, but yet they fund them and help them do certain things in other countries. Uh, so this is what they're doing: plotting and scheming. And they were caught, and they didn't know they were being televised. And um, here's a little here's a little bit of it here, anyway. <laughs> See, in this, in this situation, I agree there shouldn't be a damn belt. There shouldn't be a damn belt by anybody. Um, so maybe the plotting and scheming is justified. But the thing about it is, is this happens in every country does this. Now, this might be for the better, though, so I'm not sure how they're trying to spin this. Uh, we shouldn't be building dams. We shouldn't be building systems. We shouldn't be uh, eating the earth up like a bacteria that we're acting like. Um, so anyway, that's that. I'll leave a link in the description area. And then there's... Uh, then there's this, uh, an old YouTuber has came back, uh, which I'm very happy to see. He was once known as Nuff Respect with three Fs, N-U-F-F-F -F -F, Respect. Now there's a channel of that name now, but it's not the original guy. 
the original guy is John Watkins, and this is his channel here, John Watkins' channel. I'll leave the link in the description area. I guess just recently, I, I don't know if it was recently or what, I'm just finding it now that, um, yeah, Jimmy Seville, oh, w who was a, a famous British uh, actor and talk show host and had very, very uh, high connections to uh, kings and, and royalty and I'm sure he was part of the bloodline, probably, probably one of their kids, someone's kid, and uh, playing his part. And I guess he was caught in a late pedophile ring. But, I mean, which is great, but if he's the only one that was caught and he's the only one that's getting the backlash from this, then what's the point? It goes way deeper than just this Jimmy Savile. Savile. Um, but so you can see the quality of work this YouTuber does. Uh, John Watkins. I'll play a little bit of this because he's it's he does really good work. Um, this is a real powerful video too. I'll leave the link in the description area, of course. But check this out. The evidence file used to convict pedophile Peter Wrighton, if it still exists, contains clear intelligence of a widespread pedophile ring. One of its members boasts of his links to a senior aide of a former prime minister who says he could smuggle indecent images of children from abroad. I want to ensure that the Metropolitan Police secure the evidence, re-examine it, and investigate clear intelligence suggesting a powerful people network linked to Parliament and other towns. Yes, that's Tony Blair. Uh, this man imposed a hundred-year secrecy order on the entities of high-profile identities of high-profile pedophiles uncovered in the Operation Or investigation of 2002. It's funny because uh, Tony Blair also converted to Catholicism. So there you go. Um, I thought that was really cool. I actually missed part. I wanted to show you here. I went right by it. I wanted to bring it up. Oh, uh, where is it? Uh, I can't believe I missed it. Right there. There you see him in his Freemasonry. Well, it's not. 
Freemasonry garb, but you see him with the uh, eight, what is it, the eight pointed star? Seven pointed star there. You'll find a seven pointed star on a, a Marilyn Manson album as well. Which, uh, not to say anything is bad about, any, you know, whatever. He's, he says he's a Satanist or whatever. I don't know. It has nothing to do with Satanism. This star goes back. It has to do with, uh, I believe he got that um, given to him by royalty. He is Sir Jimmy Seville. If you, if you look on his tombstone, I believe it's somewhere in this video anyway. So there's his little awards um, for being a good pedophile, I guess, from royalty. Um, and then one last thing, you know... Uh, He's part of Holly. He's not part of Hollywood. He's part of the TV industry, media. Hollywood um, is also part of this pedophilia ring. Uh, Charles Manson has talked about it, um, and others like Corey Feldman. And I'll just leave you with this: uh, There's a lot of things going at the top you don't know about, and you pretend like a lot of people pretend like they know exactly what's going on, and they don't. So, I'll leave you with this, and see you soon. Don't forget reddawnpost.com and uh, Facebook and Twitter. This is Red Dawn Post. There was a circle of older men that surrounded themselves around this group of kids. And they all had either their own power or connections to great power in the entertainment.